This is the year we say goodbye to DeMarco Sampson and Vincent Brown, two of Ryan Lindley's biggest, baddest targets on the base. Josh and Sherrod back with you on a Tuesday coming up at 5 o'clock. Lakers hoops, but right now we bring on that former Aztec, future pro, Vincent Brown. Vincent, always great to have you on the show. How's life these days? Uh, it's not bad at all. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. No doubt. Now, Vincent, describe the combine experience, because to us, it looks like a track and field meet. looks like the biggest gladiators are out there bench pressing and vertical leaping and broad jumping. But for you, what was that experience like? Uh, it, was, it was a combination of all that, actually. You know, it, was, uh, it was a great experience. Uh, you know, I was very happy you know, to be able to go out there, you know, showcase my talents and that type of thing. But uh, just, uh, just the whole week, you know, we had a lot of interviews with teams, and uh, we had to go through team doctors and make sure that you know, they were able to poke and prod me the whole time. So it was, uh, it was a great experience. I would imagine that the Wonderlick test is pretty intense. I mean, we've all taken our SATs, and that was a pretty intense experience for us. But what was the Wonderlick like for you? Were there any type of question you looked at and you were like, what is this? <laughs> I mean, it, you only get, I guess, a few minutes, you know, to take care of the whole test. But uh, it definitely, they definitely had a couple questions on there that you, you look back and you're like, man, I, I don't even remember this. <laughs> I haven't taken this in a long time. But you definitely got to, you know, try and try and make sure you can uh, get as many questions as you uh, can done in a certain amount of time. But it's some of the questions, yeah, like I said, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of out there a little bit, but it's, it's all good. Vincent, when you're interviewing with some of these GMs and scouts, are they asking you non-football questions just about life, trying to get to know your character? Oh, yeah, definitely. They ask about your background, you know, where you grew up, that type of thing. Yeah. So a little bit about your family. You know, they, they definitely want to know who you are you know, and uh, who they're bringing to their team. So they definitely ask questions, you know, pertaining to your life and uh you know, the things that fit you and how, how you feel you'll do. So they, 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 they go all over the place. Do you interview with every team in the league? Uh, not every team. You know, there's, you have uh, some set, you know, uh, interviews where you go in with uh, some GMs or something like that. And, uh, but uh, other ones, you know, you just meet with a scout or something like that from a team. But it, it's, it varies across the board. Did you interview with the Chargers? Uh, yeah, I did actually have an interview with the Chargers. How'd that it go? Pretty well. That went for, did you say it went pretty well for you? Yeah, it went pretty well. Nice. Well, you heard it here first. Vincent Brown is now a member of the San Diego Chargers, <laughs> Vincent Brown from San Diego State is joining us. Did they ask any questions where you're thinking, that has nothing to do with football, anything offensive or insulting, or was it pretty status quo? Uh, no, nah, it was pretty much, you know, the same same type of thing. You know, they, like I said, they asked about your background, your family, and that type of thing, how many brothers and sisters you have, and then, uh, then they'll get to a little X and O's, you know, a little bit. They'll talk about football, what you, uh, how do you feel, you know, your best assets are as a player, and they work, the things you need to work on, that type of thing. Do you think that the 40 time that you have will hurt you in any way when the uh, when the draft comes? I'm uh, sure it might, you know, but uh, I guess it's good. I'm not trying out for the Olympics, you know. But, uh, <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm there to play football, and uh, I guess my, my film shows otherwise. So I'm not, I'm not really, you know, good. disappointed. You know, I just got to go back to work. Well, it's interesting to hear you say it because I imagine when you run a 40, you really don't know exactly if it was a 4.5, a 4.6, a 4.7. When you ran it, did you feel good about it at first? Uh, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm one of the one of those different type of people. You know, I like, I thrive off of you know competing that type of thing. So when when I'm in the games, it's just a whole lot different than uh, than just running a forty by myself with, you know, no competition, nobody out there challenging me. So uh, I guess uh, I'm different in that aspect of it. But uh, when I'm out there, it feels like you know I'm just running. But it's like it's almost not not like there's no point. But it's like oh. I'm just, you know, just running the 40 all by myself. But it's, it's, uh, I guess it's that type of thing with me. I guess if a defensive back is chasing you, that 4-7 becomes a 4-5 real quick, don't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, challenging, trying to, trying to score touchdowns, trying to win games. So it's a whole lot different for me. You know, the, one, the one thing I hear quarterbacks talking about who are at this combine is, you know, throwing to wide receivers who are not their own, it's a little bit different. The timing is different. Mm -hmm. They're running a fly pattern. It's a little bit different. But all the quarterbacks who you dealt with, who threw the nicest ball for you? Uh, let me see. I did have some real good quarterbacks out there throwing uh, Jake Locker, he had a pretty good ball. He was pretty on uh, the entire night with it. I watched him with all the all the receivers, and uh, he had a real accurate ball at the at the uh, combine. And uh, Colin Kaepernick, he threw threw a pretty good ball too. Yeah, I really like really like his ball. Nice. Former Aztec, great Vincent Brown, getting ready to become a professional. Is it a little weird with the lockout coming up? Are you a little worried, thinking that this is a risky time to enter the league? Uh yeah, definitely. Because uh, they're they're going through all their stuff, and I'm I'm not fully aware, you know, what's going on with the whole situation, but. Uh, it's uh, definitely, you know, a challenging time just thinking about, you know, there there might be a lockout, you know, there maybe not what happens, you know, and I'm this is my next step up and it's all happening this time, you know, so it's, it's definitely uh, something to think about. You will have a pro day, correct? Yeah, we'll have a pro day on uh, March 24th. Are you going to have Ryan Lindley throw you the ball? <laughs> yeah, I wish I could, but no, nah, so he, he won't be able to throw me the ball. Oh, that's not allowed, huh? Yeah, not, not that time, no. Oh, that's unfortunate. Why didn't DeMarco Sampson run at the Combine? 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's uh, that's something that he decided with uh, with his people, and uh, I guess that's, that's how it went for him. So I, I have no clue. What's the next step for you, Vincent? I realize the combine's a big deal. The pro day's a big deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you just live for the next couple of months? What is the next step for a future pro? Uh, well, I'm just uh, going back to work. You know, training, working out, making sure I'm ready for pro day, and uh, just uh, getting ready for the season. You know, next season. So I'm. I knocked out the, the big things, and all I have left is pro day, so I'll be working out for that, and after that, I'm just getting ready to play another season. So you obviously already have an agent, correct? Yes, sir. How did you pick the one for you? I always wonder where you go to find an agent, because there's probably 100, 200, 300 guys who would love to have Vincent Brown as a client, but how did you narrow it down to feel like the guy was perfect for your situation? Uh, it was it was a long process. You know, I did a lot with, uh, with my family, and uh, we had a lot of interviews and that type of thing. You know, we had guys come, and sit down and, you know, share what they had to offer. And uh, we just we just narrowed it down from there. You know, a lot of guys, they it seemed like they were pretty good, but then we, we, we sat down with them, it was a different story. So we kind of just weeded out to them right that way. Are you planning on doing, like, a uh, one of these performance type of, uh, you know, establishments that are all over the country where they specialize in training you guys? Or you just kind of do your own thing, maybe work out with a couple of buddies and just kind of get ready for the season? Uh, I'm actually training in, uh, at Velocity and Carlsbad. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're taking care of me up there, so I'm, I'm, that's, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Vincent Brown back in San Diego after the Combine in Indianapolis. All right, do our job for us for a moment. Usually on draft day, we do the comparisons. We say, DeMarco Sampson, he could be the next Malcolm Floyd. But with Vincent Brown, who is the one receiver you say, I kind of got game like his. Who's the comparison? Uh, my comparison is definitely uh, Reggie Wayne and uh, Greg Jennings. You know, I watch a uh, Watch a lot of their film, their film. You know how they get open, how they maneuver at defensive backs, and uh, how they take advantage. You know uh, what they're doing to get themselves open. So I definitely model myself after them, and I, I like the way they play the game. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna act like it was my own thought. I say Reggie <laughs> Wayne and Greg Jennings when it comes to Vincent Brown. That's not bad. I'm gonna verbally plagiarize. But Vincent, we're wishing you the absolute best. I'm looking forward to the draft for you and Demarco. Thanks for joining us. All right, thank you. No problem. Thanks a lot, Vincent. Good luck, man. Vincent Brown.